position. I went and had a look at their static display as well. On the left. And there it goes, up into the sky. You can see a very distinctive shape. see that it's like a small delta wing with an extended wing route from the front so it's uh, it, it almost looks like it wants to be a canard but they haven't quite cut the, the extended route it has something from everyone yes يعني هاي الطيارات هذه كان فيها شيء من اغلب الطيارات تلقى الجناح تقريبا يشبه تقريبا بين لف 16 وبين لف 18 بدل الطائره تلقى يقترب من طائرات مقاتله اخرى يعني مقدمه او خشم هذه الطائره ايضا تحسبه يشبه لف 16 ماخذ من كل من كل طائرة خاصية معينة هي طائرة مقاتلة متقدمة من طائرات الخط الأول كما يحب الباكستانيين أن يروجون لها مثل ما قلت عام الصيني باكستاني القوات الباكستانية تشترك مع الصين في الكثير من شارع منها هذه الطائرة النموذج الأول تم تجميعها في الصين ومن ثم تم جمع الأجزاء المتبقية في باكستان التي تصنع طبعا ما مجموعة 85% من هذه الطائرة وتجمع بعدين في مدينة كامرا قرب العاصمة اسلام آباد آه التي آه آه تشهد طبعا الكثير من تقنيات تقنيات صناعة آه السلاح ومن تحديد آه صناعة الطيران شاركت العديد من التمارين الجوية آه مهام الجو جو مهام الجو أرض ومهام آه الجو سطح آه البحرية أيضا تستطيع الطائرة آه آه حمل مجموعة متعددة من الأسلحة مثل الصواريخ ضد السفن والكثير أيضا من so uh, we just saw the Griffin earlier on, and that uh, has pretty much the same power rate ratio here. Just over 11,000 pounds of thrust from uh, what's in effect a Russian engine, uh, a Kilmov uh, Ordi 93 afterburner. And uh, as Khalid was saying, it's uh, it's a bit of everything. Like they said, the Russians were also involved. Uh, we were told in the development stages, but uh, mainly it was the Pakistani and the Chinese coming together. They had a, a use for uh, a particular type of aircraft and they designed this one, as we can see. Uh, not very wide, it's about just under 10 meters wide. It has uh, wing tips for missiles as well, where you can put your uh, sidewinders or equipment on them. A G limit of uh, 8 down to minus 3 G. Uh, internal fuel capacity just over 5,000 pounds, which uh, is uh, not particularly good but it could do ferry ranges uh, in excess of 1800 nautical miles maximum speed of uh, 1.6 mac اذا طائره متقدمه سعد الكرام مثل ما قلنا باكستانيه ولكن بلمسات صينيه متقدمه يقول الباكستانيين هذه الطائره امنه تماما لدرجه ان هذه الطائره لم يصنع منها نموذج تدريبي يحمل مقعدين يعني قد لا تصدقون ذلك ولكن هذا الواقع الباكستانيين ما صنعوا للحين نموذج ذو مقعدين ويعتمدون في تدريبهم على طائره من او ذات مقعد واحد طبعا بعد ما يمر على مراحل تدريبيه مختلفه على الارض ونظام الموكب طبعا على الارض ولكن قد لا يحتاجون ذلك اصلا الطيارين اللي يدخلون هذه الطائره ويوصلون لهذه المرحله هم اوريدي مخلصين اجزاء او انواع متعدده من الطائرات لين ما وصلوا لهذه الطائره المزوده ايضا بمقعد قاذف بريطاني من نوع مارتن بيكر 16 واحد من افضل المقاعد على مستوى العالم لانظمه للانظمه القاريه او انظمه القفص جوا. They don't have the duel yet. Not yet. They're going to. Here we come. It's that Ru safe. Running in from the right. One. Straight into the top now. This will be Max right turn. No, he's switching it back to an S turn. And then pulling hard back on a stick. So plus 8G is the maximum G load on that. So that circle will be a little bit wider than the stuff we saw with the Griffin and the Raphael, which is up to about 9 or 10G on the, st on the G meter, I would think. Now the aircraft powering back. He's washing the speed off by sort of side slipping it, letting it sink as well, and that'll wash his speed away. Now watch as he pulls the aircraft up, the nose up, high alpha attack, we call that, and then just throttle back. Again, it's got flyby systems, 
So computer is helping him here, not stall, but he's not going to be more than five knots off the stall as uh, he's just pitching it forward, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, and then watch, we'll see the power come on to the aircraft, then he'll drop the nose, and then return the airflow back over the wing. Just powers up and goes into the vertical instead. as he comes back down. Now this aircraft uh, serving as we said with the uh, Pakistani Air Force but also a sea service in Nigeria and uh, with the Miramar Air Force as well. ما زلنا معكم سادة الكرام في هذا النقل الحي مع مع فعاليات والعروض What else is coming up? Uh, very shortly, we're going to have uh, the last of our helicopters today. We saw it earlier, the Mil 2, which was like the very first sort of serious production helicopter uh, behind the Soviet Union, produced mainly in Poland. Uh, but next will be the Mil-8. And this aircraft, even today, is still used around the world. The Mil-8, a very sort of uh, tough airframe, really much like the Mil-9. You'll see them a lot in uh, Africa and uh, doing uh, great work around there, working with the UN. And uh, the Mil brand uh, is sort of synonymous with its robust, uh, round the world uh, airframe and simplicity of engineering as well after that the uh, f-16 is coming back uh, this in uh, the guise of the united states air force uh, we had the block 60 for uh, 16 from the united arab emirates air force and air defense earlier on uh, the one more f-16 coming in very different beast from the uh, uh, united states air force after that the safet 03 and then to finish our show will be august the first the national aerobatic team of the chinese air force إذا تنهي الآن طائرة الجي 